so for today's video I'm going to be doing a what is in our travel makeup bags. So I'm here with Lily from Floral Beauty. Hey! And we also filmed a few videos over on her channel so make sure you go and check them out. If they're not already up they will be up in the next few days so I'm going to link her channel down below so you can go and subscribe. So the makeup bag I actually have is this Kath Kitten pink floral pouch. Um, I think this is a perfect size for my makeup. The bag I have is the Zoella Just Say Yes makeup bag or beauty bag. It's from the Zoella range and it's a really good size, it's really good quality and was about £8. It fits so much in it. Yeah, it does. It fits a lot in it. So for primer, we both decided to go with the Benefit Professional because it's a really good travel size. Yeah. Really so. good as well. And I don't think this actually costs much. No, it doesn't. It's only about five pounds but you can honestly get these for free yeah if you just ask yeah. the testers at the counter sometimes they give you these they'll just give you them for free so they're really good for travel size and to be honest this lasts me like months just yeah. this size so really good so the kind of face product I have is the NARS radiant tinted moisturizer for me when I go on holiday I tend to go on the plane a lot so I like to have a tinted moisturizer because it's less coverage than a thick foundation. Because I haven't been on a plane in a while and I tend to go by car for a lot of my holidays, I like to take a bit of a thicker foundation and this is the L'Oreal The True Match foundation. My favourite. It is honestly it. so good. It has SPF 17 so you're protected from the sun. It's a really good coverage. I definitely say this is full coverage yet it feels so light on your skin. And it is about 10 or 11 pounds to buy but it's really travel friendly. Even though it is in a glass bottle, I still don't mind taking this. So for concealer, because I have a light coverage face BB cream foundation all over my face, I like to have a high coverage concealer. So I just have the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. This is my go-to concealer. I This is my holy grail. For my concealer as well, I like to go for a really high coverage, so I bought the Collection Last Imperfection. It's a really good coverage, it is quite heavy. The coverage is just phenomenal and this is probably my favourite concealer. It's only like £4 and it's really travel friendly. For powder, I always like to take my Rimmel Stay Matte because it doesn't go cakey on my face at all. It just gives me a really nice even coverage and sets my makeup matte all day. So for my powder, I like to have the Bare Minerals. Powder. This is quite a small one, I think this is a travel one, which I got for free when I just asked for a tester. Um, I think it's a foundation. Is it the powder foundation? Yeah, I think it's a powder foundation. Yeah, it's a powder foundation, so it will give me a bit of extra coverage as well, because again, I have a light coverage. What do we call that when it's all over your face? A light coverage face. So, this is the Bare Minerals powder foundation. For blusher I love to take my MAC blush because you get so much product in it, it's a really good travel size. It comes up quite dark like in the pan but it's so light and has like glittery undertones on your cheeks when you put it on. It's just gorgeous and I take this every time I go travelling. So for my blush I have a little duo. This is a blush and lip tint. So a blush and lip tint, a cheek and lip tint. This is the Posy tint by Benefit. It's a mini size, so again, travel friendly, and I can't remember where I got this. I got this in a set, which wasn't too expensive. Yeah. Can you get them for free? Possibly, but they're not one of the ones that probably give to you. Yeah. You get them in lots of benefit sets, but it just gives a really nice, dewy, glowy look. I just love this so much. So for eyeshadow, I don't really like to take a huge palette when I go traveling, so I just took my Naked Basics. This is just the first Naked Basics and Lily has the second one and it just comes with a range of different matte shades which are all so beautiful. The palettes are very similar but I just love them both. That That's a lot darker. Yeah. There's, there's some similarities and there's some differences but I love both the palettes. If I don't feel like wearing a brown or a lighter eyeshadow and I just want to go for like a base, we will take the collection, no, Maybelline 24 hour colour tattoos. So these are in pink gold and it's just a gorgeous pinky gold colour. Stunning. They're gel, are they gel? Cre gel cream eyeshadows, so yes. they're so easy to use and unlike some gel cream eyeshadows, they don't get everywhere, so no, they don't. they're super easy to use. For mascara, my go-to travelling mascara has to be Benefit's Roller Lash. I got this free in Aww. Elle magazine and it's just a perfect, perfect mini. 
just love it. You so get a lot much. inside as well. You do. This has lasted me so long because when I first got it, before I got the full size, I used it every day. But now I'm just going to be using this one for when I go travelling. So now we're moving on to lips. So the first lipstick I have is the L'Oreal Paris Colour Riche by Julianne. And this is just a gorgeous peachy toned nude and I love this lipstick so much it was the first colour reach one I got and it's so pigmented and just glides on your lips really nicely so the first lip product I take with me is this MAC lipstick in Flamingo I've literally spoken about this in like every single one of my recent videos it's a really nice corally it's just a coral kind of peachy yeah. coral it's quite vibrant but it doesn't come out that colour on your lips, it's quite sheer, I just love this so much. So my final lip product that I will take with me on my travels is the MAC lipstick in Velvet Teddy. I absolutely love this lipstick. I haven't seen this lipstick. Haven't you? No. Oh it's stunning, it's like a nudey brown colour, Lewis actually got me this one and I love it so much. Shout out for looking, to, yes. looking for Lewis. Looking, looking for Lewis, go and check out his channel. Like honestly it's amazing, I've only used it once. But this is going to be my travelling lipstick because it looks gorgeous. I love it. And then the final lip product I have is the NYX Butter Gloss and this is in Peaches and Cream. This on top of the MAC Flamingo is the best lip combo I've ever tried. So that just comes around with me everywhere. So that was the end of my What's In Our Travel Makeup Bag video. Make sure to go and check out Lily's video once you have watched this one. There'll be a couple of videos up on her channel within the next couple of weeks. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you soon. Bye! Bye.